Hey everyone, it's Harry Ray Rack here with another video. Um, <coughs> so for today's video, um, <coughs> sorry to clear my throat there, but um, actually before I get into it, today's video is I wanted to say, um, I'm sorry it's been quite a while since my last video, but um, me and me and my family went on a little trip to Panama City for my cousin's birthday, and yeah, so I was able to make a video of following her on vacation in Panama City Beach in Florida, but yeah, that's that, and just, and just in general, I haven't been able to make any <clears throat> like um, a lot of videos, it's, like as often as I as I used to because I just haven't really had as much like real a long time and stuff. But yeah, anyways, uh, so for today's video, as you can see, you can't really see my face right now. I'm showing I'm showing a sh shelf that has some movies here because for today I'm gonna be showing my entire physical media collection. Um, I've done a video so much this b before, like showing like my entire movie collection, all my DVDs and Blu-rays and stuff. But, um, for today, it's going to be a little different. I'm going to be showing not my entire movie collection, but my entire physical media collection. So not just DVDs and Blu-rays, also, um, like, vinyl records, video games, um, CDs, probably, stuff like that. Um, I was also thinking about showing books, but I, I want to say books are media, per se. I think media is anything that's, like, with a, a screen. Obviously, books are, like, with a screen, unless they're, like, on, like, a... Because you can, like, read books on a tablet, and it's like that. But, yeah. Anyways, I'm kind of rambling on here. <laughs> Anyways. So let's see, sorry, so I didn't think I'm sorry about this shelf here, um, it's just a random plumbingo light thing, let's put that down there, um, so on the top here, as you can see, uh, I'm not gonna read off every, by the way, I'm not gonna, like, read off every single thing that I have, that would take way too long, I'm just gonna, like, quickly, like, like, go through everything, just, like, quickly show everything, I'm, like, point out a few things, um, a few of, like, the most, what I think are, like, the most notable things, but, yeah, I'm mostly just gonna, like, just briefly show everything. But anyways, so starting at the top here, you can see a couple of complete series sets up there, Full House Complete Series, then Brain Games Complete Collection. Then I have Harry Potter Hogwarts Collection right here. It's probably one of my favorite DVD slash Blu-ray I have. This has both DVDs and Blu-rays in it. Probably one of my most prized possessions right there, the Harry Potter Hogwarts Collection. Anyways, here's the first row of this shelf here. Right there. Here's the next row. There's that row. Uh, <coughs> some, <coughs> some DVD. I had to call my phone again there. Um, but uh, some DVDs there, like of like the same show, or whatever. I have like all like bundled together, not not bundled, like they're like wrapped together with like rubber band or anything like that. But you know what I mean. They're like together. So like for example, I have all of my Naked Brothers Band DVDs together right there. All the Manny Show DVDs. Um, all the Keenan Kel duties, there's, there's only two Keenan Kel duties, but, yeah, and then, yeah, that's that. I'm gonna move this tray out of the way, I have this pink tray that usually sits in between, whoops. Okay, I can just, I think I sound the floor for now. Uh, anyways, so I was moving that tray out of the way. Um, uh, so let's see, that row was last row I showed. And then, here's the next row right here. Um, yeah, that's all of that. And then, here's the bottom row of this shelf. Usually, when I make, like, entire movie collection videos like this, I usually, like, end with showing this shelf. I decided to start with this shelf in this video. Um, I have all my loud house DVDs together right there. I did a loud house DVD collection video not too long ago. Be yeah, honest that. Um, I have, like... Halloween Town DVDs, Disney Channel crossover DVDs, like that's also that Fan Montana and Wizards on Deck with Fan Montana, stuff like that. So yeah. That's it. So yeah. I'm like pulling my phone to the floor because I don't really want you to see the outside because you might be able to, to like um I'd be able to tell like where my house is and stuff but I feel like the outside of my house so I'm not gonna do that, that's why I was like playing my phone to floor out on the over here. But anyways, here's the next shelf here. So here's the first row of this shelf. Grand Falls Complete Series right there. It's a cool one. Oh shoot, I can't get actually put it there. That's my word there. There's a few like Carly DVs right there. Uh, yeah, a few of the older like DVD releases of the first four Hayfire movies right there. I know I have the Harry Potter Hogwarts collection that I just saw a minute ago. But I like to keep these older DVDs for like sentimental value and nostalgia purposes and stuff like that. 
I have all my three life duties together right here. It's three three life and clay duties and one three life on deck duty. I wish I wish they had released more three, three life on deck duties, but one is better than none. <laughs> Anyways, and then also now DVDs right there. There's two also now DVDs. Um, yeah, some, some more stuff there. And then down here. I have a complete series that right there. That's Sunny Show and Complete Series. That's Sunny Show is a funny show. Um, now we have both the Good Burger movies right here. This is actually the most recent DVD I bought right here. Good Burger 2. I thought I'd put it right next to the first Good Burger that I had out of the Blu ray steel book of the first Good Burger. Good. Obviously, I thought they would fit, fit well, like right next to each other there, and they did. Uh, anyways, this is another one of the most recent DVDs I've gone. Season 1 of The Walking Dead, Daryl Dixon spinoff right there. I've only watched like the first episode of The Walking Dead, Daryl Dixon spinoff show. Um, I'm not sure if I'm really that interested in it. I'll have to maybe watch at least one more episode because I could, probably can't really properly judge just based off one episode. And then if after I watch the second episode, I'll probably like um, judge it from there. See if I'm really that interested in it. See if I want to like watch the rest of it. Yeah, anyways, I mean, there's only like six episodes, even if I don't want to look at that much, I could probably just like watch all the episodes, because there's only six episodes. Anyways, <laughs> moving on here. Um, there's some more stuff here. I have like some horror movies, like right here we have the Strangers movies, I have the Strangers oh. Killer movie collection of all the Strangers movies on DVD. And then you have the second Strangers movie, Prank at Night on Blu ray. I like the second Strangers movie a lot more than the first one. And then the Black Phone, that's a more recent horror movie. That was a good horror movie right there, Black Phone. Um, I was gonna say I have another complete series over here, but this isn't this isn't a complete series, it's just the first four seasons of Shelly Matters. That's not the whole show. I know a complete series of Shelly Matters did just come out recently, or not too long ago. I've seen it at like Walmart and stuff. I'm not sure if I'm not interested in it. I like Family Matters, but I'm not sure if I was good enough to get like the whole show. So yeah, anyways. Um there's another complete series right there, Jimmy Neutron. It's a cool set. Um, I have the Glee concert movie, of course, I'm a, I'm a Gleek, I have to have the Glee concert movie, that's the Blu-ray of the Glee concert movie right there. And yeah, that's that, that was that shelf. Um, and then I shove a few DVDs in a row on the floor right here, right in between a couple of my shelves. Um, these are some DVDs that I got from, a few DVDs I got from a lady in my neighborhood that just gave me some three DVDs that she had. Um, but yeah. So, I've never shown these any videos before, so I'll list off all these. So, we have Confessions of Teenage Drama Queen, um, Under the under the Rope, I think that says. Um, oh, Beyond the Mat. Oh, I don't know why I thought it was Under the Rope, but Beyond the Mat, uh, Ringside Special Edition. It's like a wrestling documentary. They have a, then we have a movie in a red box case right here, actually. Uh, this is The Duff. There. And Untraceable, Batman Begins, the assigned New York thing complete for a season. I've watched like the first couple episodes, that's pretty good. And Chicago, it's me as Cold Course, 30 million on 30. Bobby's World, The Firm, Super Cardio, Mix, it's like a workout TV. Um, Halo Legends, Fan the Opera, another musical course. Broadway, The Star, Spangled Celebration, Hoodwinked, Blue Collar, the complete second season, that's a comedy show, it's like Jeff Foxworthy, Bill Langvall, and uh, Larry the Cable Guy. So yeah, and this, and this is like another workout DVD right here, Richard Simmons, um, it's called like 80's uh, Blast Off, it's like an 80's dance workout video, I haven't tried that workout video yet, I tried the, this, the Firm Super Carnival Mates workout DVD once and it wasn't really my thing, <laughs> but yeah, this Richard Simmons workout DVD seems like it might be fun, I haven't tried it yet, but I probably will at some point. Um, <clears throat> we have number 23, I watched that movie once, um, not too long ago. And it was, uh, it wasn't the best movie, but it was alright. And then we have the prestige, that's a movie about, like, magic. And then Back to the Future, the complete trilogy, and Rent, and the music right there. So that's all the DVDs that I got from a person I knew right there. So moving on here, has little box of different things. I have a little stack of DVDs in there. Then some CDs right there, some DS games, all of my like handheld port console stuff like that, and some random stuff on top there. Um, anyway, <laughs> uh <-huh. clears throat> anyway. 
guys, so, <clears throat> sorry, I was, <laughs> sorry, I just, like, stopped talking for a minute there, my mom actually came upstairs, and I was telling her to go downstairs, um, so, yeah, uh, Anyways, you probably heard in the background, she's like, I think I'm on my phone. Anyways, um, I don't like when people interrupt my videos, but, you know, not a big deal. Anyways, now on to the next shelf here. Oh, we have Saved by the Bell, we can see Clash on top there. Oh, it's Saved by the Bell. That's all the random stuff. We have the original release of the complete first season of SpongeBob right there. Actually, I have a few of the new releases of the scenes of SpongeBob right here in that row there. Probably already saw those colors on that shelf, but yeah. And also, if you start hearing music in the background, it's called Dale's Leads, and it's got to talk every hour, but, yeah, anyways. Um, I've said that in, like, uh, several videos in the past, but, yeah, anyways, that's, uh, um, so, here's, this shelf is mainly comprised of Wiggles DVDs, this, like, most of my Wiggles DVD collection right here on this shelf right here, or a good chunk of it, I would say, there's a few other Wiggles DVDs that I have, like, scattered about, but this is most of my Wiggles DVDs that I have on this shelf here. And a few random DVDs at the end there. <coughs> um, now on this shelf, you got a few more things. I'm um, not gonna have a few Goosebumps DVDs right there. Um, I say we, like, like there's like multiple people that almost clutch him out, it's just me. Anyways. <laughs> But some people say we and then they just like referring to themselves like I know in, in like Dancy Yams videos not really anymore but he like used to say like today we're playing this game or whatever like Dancy Yams used to say like we instead of like I or whatever in his videos anyways I don't know what's going on here if you've seen Dancy Yams older videos you probably know what I'm talking about anyways on the next row here we have a few like family guy DVDs right there and then yeah some other random stuff there and down here on the bottom shelf, they have this big, like, speaker in the way, so it's kind of awkward having to, like, reach line here to show the bottom shelf here. Anyways, there's a few other things there. Um, oh, was this, uh, seeing this Dexter's Laboratory Season 1 DVD right here, and that reminds me, I saw recently that, it was recently announced that there's going to be a Dexter's Laboratory Complete Series DVD so that's going to be coming out later this year, I'm probably going to get that, it's going to be pretty cool, I, I like Dexter's Laboratory. Desert's Laboratory is not my favorite Cartoon Network cartoon. I never really liked Cartoon Network that much, but Desert Laboratory just hits different. Uh, <laughs> anyways. Yeah, I was saying that Desert's Laboratory season 1 DVD that I have down there reminded me that that was announced that there's going to be a Desert Laboratory complete series DVD that's going on here this year. Anyways. So. And that was the last, like, proper shelf of DVDs that I have. So, I also have, like, a, quite a few stacks of, quite a few, like, big stacks of DVDs and Blu-rays and stuff just on the floor here. I am planning to get more shelves so I can get all these DVDs off the floor. But yeah, there's even like a few DVDs just like thrown on the floor right there. Um, and there's a few other stacks like in the front here. This stack right here is like some of the most recent DVDs I've gotten. Right there. Some of them from like thrift stores or like used uh, DVD stores, stuff like that. But yeah, that's it. And then this stack actually has a, a few of the most recent DVDs that gone as well. There's a steel book right here of, uh, right here is a steel book right here of one of the Star Wars movies, Adventures of the Jedi. I've never seen any of the Star Wars movies. I might at some point, but, um, I just saw that steel book one of the Star Wars movies at the garage sale in my neighborhood, actually, and I thought it looked really cool. So, like, I, I'd never seen a steel book at a garage sale before, so. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I don't know why I can complete collection stuff right, here, right there. Why that's my favorite shows, of course. And speaking of my favorite shows, there's another one of my favorite shows, Glee. That's a Glee complete series stuff right there as well. And then another stack right there. There's the Big Bang Theory complete series stuff right there. Yet another one of my favorite shows. Um, and there's another stack right there. Like, the noble thing in that stack is the 20 film collection of musicals right there. I love musicals. I've been loving musicals a lot lately. <laughs> Anyways. Um, what was I saying? I suddenly bumped the <laughs> box here. Anyways, um, so yeah, that's that. Um, yeah, it's, it's all that, all those stacks there. I don't know if you can see everything from there. You obviously can't really see anything in, in this middle stack right here, because the stack in front is kind of like blocking it, but I don't think I can really like, push it out of the way right now. But anyways, and also, down there I have the big DreamWorks 42 movie collection right there with all the DreamWorks on Blu-ray. It's pretty cool. Uh, 
I don't see it's not one of my favorite, like, DV slash Blu-rays that I have during the Spartan movie collection. So, I was like, blah, 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 blah. That's, I was, like, standing up. That's why I kind of made it. So, anyways. So, I was supposed to call it DVDs. I have, there is, like, a couple of, like, drawers of DVDs. I don't feel like I'll clean the drawers. So, yeah, I can watch my other entire movie collection. But if you want to see what DVDs are in um, those drawers, there's just, like, a few DVDs in those drawers. Not to table much, but anyways. Um, so, now I'll move on to video games. I this whole, whole shell whole, I don't know what my voice did that, this whole, um, shelf of video games here, um, so there's just, um, few, like, random things on top there, um, but, um, this top shelf is made up of just entirely, like, Wii games and Wii U games, and there's a few Wii and Wii U games on top there, and this middle shelf is PS4 and PS3 games, and then a few, like, random little, like, um, handheld machine things and like make dance dance revolution or king machine there it's pretty cool and then this bottom shelf we have um original xbox games xbox 360 games uh some more ps3 games because there's a few ps3 games on the shelf up there that's why i'm saying more a few more ps3 games on that shelf there um and then all my Nintendo switch games right here's a little section here and then there's also uh, there's also some more games behind here as well, like, right behind there's more Xbox 360 games, like, PS2 games, and stuff like that. And then over here is, like, some, just, like, three original PlayStation games, or PS1 games, whatever you want to call them. And then some karaoke scenes and stuff like that. I have a couple games that I don't want, I don't want the cases for, like, this is Lego Batman right here, that's Xbox 360, and this one is Grand Theft Auto V for the PS4, I don't really feel like pulling them all the way out, but, <laughs> yeah, that's it. So that's all of my video games. And then, this only video game consoles right here, let's briefly show the video game consoles aren't physical media technically, <laughs> anyways. Um, and over here I have all my VHSs right here, a few rows of VHSs. Um, all these in the front here are the most recent VHSs I've gotten. Actually, I actually haven't watched any of the most recent VHSs I've gotten in this row because I I don't really watch VHSs that often. They're cool to have, but like, obviously it's a lot better to watch stuff on the DVD or Blu-ray. Sometimes it can be a hassle, like get the VHS out, and then put on the VCR, and also I'd want to remote for the VCR. So every time I want, if if I want like rewind or fast forward, I have to like reach for the buttons on the actual VCR. I don't have like a remote for the VCR, so you know, it just can be kind of a hassle. And plus, like I said, it's just a lot better to watch stuff on the like, DVD or Blu-ray streaming services because it's a lot higher quality than VHSs. That's still really cool to have all these VHSs. <laughs> Anyways, and here's all my books, of course. Books aren't really physical media, technically, I won't say, but <clears throat> yeah, I mean, I guess, I guess you say they are, but I don't know. <clears throat> um, and then a few more books in this. <laughs> Oops. This kind of fell. I was like sitting down. Anyway, there's a few more books in this slot here. This tray is kind of covering up. I use this tray to eat lunch on. Um, I have to eat lunch every day because I eat lunch upstairs. Um, there's this tray to eat lunch up here. I'm not watching TV and stuff. Anyways, that's just some random plugs and headphones and stuff. Anyways, now last but not least, I have this little slot here of all my vinyl records that I have. So yeah, that's that. Um, some of, my, some of my most recent vinyl records I've gotten are on, um, like, these three I, sh I showed in, like, a video recently. It might be my last video I did. No, the, the video before the last video I did, because the last video I did was the Big Time Rush collection. I showed the Big Time Rush vinyl record in that video, because it's part of the Big Time Rush collection. But before that video, I did a, a video of vinyl records I got for Easter, and I showed these three vinyl records in that video. Team Beach Movie, Halloween Town, Cape Rock soundtracks right there. And this is the most recent vinyl record I've gotten right here. This Metallica, Master of Puppets album right there. It's pretty cool. It's a classic album, of course. And, um, yeah, I think that's basically it. I think I showed all the physical media that I have. And, yeah, I guess I don't even anything else to say. So, of course, please like, comment, and subscribe. I'm coaching the buzz notification. I never post any new videos. Oh, I do want to say, um, I almost forgot to say, um, I want to say I saw the, um, I saw I'm kind of been losing subscribers lately because I saw one point it's up to like 888 subscribers. But then I just checked again, like, right before I started filming this video, I'm down to, like, 805. I'm sure part of that is because I haven't been uploading videos that much lately, but, uh, but still, please, um, if you haven't subscribed, please do consider 
doing so, please do consider subscribing. I don't really want to keep losing subscribers. But yeah, anyways. Um, yeah, now this video is here for this video. I don't know if you have to say, so of course, you like, comment, subscribe, of course, ring the bell, so you know if I'm more ever posting new videos. And then, yeah, I don't know if you have to say, so of course, I'm going to enjoy this video, and of course, see you next time. Peace.